Hello, all of you wonderful people. This is your neighborhood realtor, Yogin Patel at Century 21 Leading Edge. Starting this month, I have decided to change my delivery method for market report. This report will be interactive and informative and definitely not plain email. I will be also providing some of my views on some of the items. If you have a specific question, you can reach out via text, comment, email, or just via phone. My information is on the screen. Time to time, I might be looking away from the camera as I'm working with two screens. Without further ado, let's begin. What's happening in this market? Let's take a look. Very big question. And I'm sure a lot of you also have the same question. Look at this guy, how he's holding on to his breath. So are a lot of buyers. And this is because of a lot of different reasons. One of them could be interest rate. Second could be a mortgage approval. Or someone might be thinking, you know what? I'm going to wait it out until market bottoms. Hmm, very good question. How do you know when the market's going to get bottom? There's only two ways you can find out. Either you can see the future, that high, I highly doubt that. Or second, when the market starts going back up. And that means you're already too late. Don't forget that. Let's dive straight into the September market report. We will talk about this report on a macro level for a few slides, and then we'll dive deeper into micro level for a couple more. Some of the official numbers from the Toronto Regional Real Estate Board shows September Number of homes sold in September were down by 44.1% year over year compared to September 2021. We have sold 5,038 homes in September of 2022. Same with the pricing. The pricing was lowered by 4.3% on a year over year basis to 1,086,762. In all of the Toronto Regional Real Estate Board. The new listings were also down on a year over year basis by 16.7% to 11,237. This is the lowest listing numbers reported on September since 2002. This is very troublesome, especially when the stock of homes in GTA has increased remarkably since 2002, over the last 20 years. Active listings went up by 47.3%. This shows there are more properties are sitting on the market and less are getting sold. And that's, you will see the effect onto the days on market has also increased due to that, based on a year over year basis. Average prices, have declined in all type of properties except condominium. We can analyze same information on a month over month basis. Home sales were in September were down by 10.5% compared to August of 2022. Prices have fractionally went up by 0.7%. And new listings were up by 6.6%. Active listing also went up 1.7%. Days on market went up by 2.9% compared to August of 2022. Semi detached and condos have increased in value on average prices throughout the GTA, where detached and townhomes have lost price value in the GTA on average pricing. As we have looked at the macro level, we will dive deeper into micro level for detached homes. It's specifically in GTA market that will give you a little bit more perspective on what the price change has happened since February of 2022. And it will also give you some current data on the sales uh, new listings, active listings, and days on market 
for this region and GTA areas. Okay, first take a look at the Peel region and Toronto. You can see February pricing for Peel region has definitely was very, very high and has been significantly lower in September for the recent report. Um, specifically uh, for Peel region, Brampton has 27% decline. Calderon has 28% decline. Mississauga has 25% decline. Overall in Peel region, 25% decline in prices. You can see the, some of the sales data that's from the September of 2022. That means in uh, overall in Peel region, 421 properties were sold, 942 properties were added, and currently there are active 1,251 listings, which are taking on average 24 days to sell. Toronto also had decline of 24% since February of 2022. Toronto West, Central and East respectively declined 20%, 18% and 22%. Overall in Toronto, 497 sales happened for detached properties. 1,301 new properties were added and currently there are active 1,504 listings, which are taking on average 19 days to sell. Let's look at the another region, Durham and York. Overall, Durham region have declined 27% for the same time period. Topping the list, Ajax. Ajax has fall 32% since February 2022. Overall, it's taking um, 18 days to sell any Durham properties on average for detached properties. Again, total number of sales, 457 properties were sold with 814 properties added and active listing currently at 733. You can see the difference here where new listings uh, are higher than active listings. That means Durham is selling a lot of their inventory. Looking at York region, topping the list, Stouffville and King at 35 and 34% respectively. They have fallen since February of 2022. Overall, 23% decline in York region. York region had a 512 sales of detached homes, added 1,046 new detached homes, and currently there are sitting at 1,355 detached homes for sales available in the market with 22, with taking 22 on average days to sell any detached homes in York region. So going back to what I said earlier, that there's some people who wants to sit on the sideline and wait until the market bottom out. There's only few ways to know it. One of the ways is will be seeing if the prices have started to creep up. Now, you can see average selling price have started to creep up compared to August of 2022. Not much, but it has gone up by 0.7%. On average, it, give or take, it's about uh, $7,000 difference. If you have, if you are thinking of buying, this is a great time to start compared to what was happening back in January and February this year. And if you're thinking of downsizing, are upsizing, selling your home, your next purchase that you'll be making will be also proportionally down compared to what it was back in January, February. And that's all for me right now for this market report. If you have any question, concern, and curious to know about your home value, looking to get a no obligation, no commitment, honest opinion of your home, Please look at my contact information. Give me a call. I'll be happy to come over and give you my honest opinion. My phone number is on the screen. My email address on the screen. Text me, email me, call me. And I'd like to end this with a quote from Steve Jobs. If you haven't found it yet, keep looking. Don't settle. As all matter with the heart, you know it when you find it. This is Yogan, your neighborhood realtor. Until next time, stay safe. 
keep smiling.